hell? You scared the crap out of me. Why didn't you answer the door? I had to search for my keys. There are no keys. What are you on about? There are no keys. Like, there is no sofa. We are not living in the real world. We are living in a computer world. You watched the Matrix trilogy again. Matrix? Yeah. That's right, that's what we're living in. You are not the one, you're not the saviour, and we're not living in the Matrix every bloody time. We are living in the Matrix, there's no other explanation. Okay, so you're the one, right? What code is the coffee table made of? Can you fly? Do you know Kung Fu? No. So, this is the real world? The Matrix doesn't exist? Exactly. It doesn't exist. I'm impressed. This is the quickest you've come out of the one malarkey. But the Matrix could exist. Well, hypothetically, yeah. But only if it was controlled by extremely advanced machines which don't exist. So, future machines would have to build the Matrix to enslave the human race for making them slaves in the first place. Yeah, in terms of the Matrix, that sounds about right. But what about robots that act as slaves in the first place? I mean, surely some robots are built to do jobs that other robots don't want to do, so they're built into slavery in a way, much like they were under our control. What do you mean, under our control? We don't have control of extremely advanced robots. They don't exist. But what if they do? Then they would have to bite the bullet and just accept it. I don't know, surely some robots will get fed up of their jobs or jealous of other robots. What are you talking about? Well, in the second film, the Oracle explains there are programs for everything. So, I'm pretty sure that the program designed to monitor the birds will get pretty jealous of the program created to monitor sex. Wait, why would there be a program for sex? It's the Matrix, Graham. Come on, it's built to control people. People have sex. They're not exactly fucking in real life, are they? I mean, look. Pretend I'm a computer program coming home from work. <clears throat> hey, how's it going? Not bad, bit tired. What you been up to today? Spend the day watching birds eating breadcrumbs and shitting on people. Been giving women orgasms. Giggity. I mean, come on, how could you not get pissed off at that? How did we go from having a hypothetical conversation to having you personify two computer programs in a sitcom environment? Who said anything about sitcom? You're not allowed to watch those films without supervision anymore. If I lived at the computer program, I could watch them whenever I like. Hey Trinity, check it out. That table's totally doing it. Bodacious, dude! Bill, what are you doing in the Matrix? Rufus sent me, man! Awesome. I've got a trick to show you with a spoon. <laughs>